My name is Kaylee and today we're going to look into a new archaeological discovery made in Israel, in which they found Dead Sea Scroll fragments, a mummified child and a woven basket. On March 16, Israeli researchers unveiled dozens of newly discovered Dead Sea Scroll fragments that contained biblical texts dating back to almost 2000 years ago. Found during a four-year-long Israeli National Rescue Operation project to survey the hundreds of caves in the Judean desert to prevent looting of artifacts before they are found and sold on the black market, as has happened in the past. These newly found Dead Sea Scroll fragments are the first to have been unearthed in archaeological excavations in approximately 60 years. They add to the artifacts found in the past that shed light on the history of early Christian life, Judaism and the ancient lives of humans. The fragments of biblical texts were found in the Cave of Horrors and were hidden by a dozen of Jewish refugees who hid there during the Bar Kokhba revolt against Roman Emperor Hadrian approximately 1900 years ago, between 132 and 136 AD. In this most recent discovery, 80 fragments have been found. There is, however, a textual difference that has no parallel with the other manuscripts either in Hebrew or Greek. A very exciting aspect about this scroll is that, despite the text being in Greek, the name of God is written in the Paleo-Hebrew script, which was used during the First Temple period in Jerusalem. One fragment included a passage from Zechariah 8:16 through 17 These are the things you are to do. Speak the truth to one another. Render true and perfect justice in your gates. And do not contrive evil against one another. And do not love perjury because all those are things that I hate, declares the Lord. Another fragment featured a passage from Nahum 1.5 to 1.6. The mountains quake because of him, and the hills melt. The earth heaves before him, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his wrath? Who can resist his fury? His anger pours out like fire and rocks are shattered because of him. Zechariah and Nahum were part of the book of the Twelve Minor Prophets in the Hebrew Scripture and the Old Testament in the Christian Bible. The Jewish refugees planned what they were taking from their homes ahead of time, what they needed to start building a new life once the war was ended. What's left in the cave helps us reconstruct the life of those who in the end didn't survive. The Cave of Horrors, where the biblical fragments were found, got its nickname from the discovery of approximately 40 skeletons of men, women and children during excavations in the 1960s. Evidence of Roman encampments on the cliff above the cave suggests that the rebels remained under siege until they perished of starvation. The cave to this day is only accessible by rope, upsiling some 200 feet. During these most recent archaeological excavations, they have uncovered other rare and historical finds. In the Cave of Horrors, the archaeologists moved two big flat stones and discovered a shallow pit. In this pit, they found a skeleton in a fetal position belonging to a female child that passed away some 6,000 years ago. The child was partially covered with a cloth around its head and chest, like a small blanket with the feet protruding from it. The child most likely got wrapped up just as a parent would cover their child in a blanket, before being laid to rest in the pit. In the hands, the skeleton clutched a small bundle of cloth. The remains were naturally mummified by the dry desert air and pieces of the skin, tendons and even the hair was partially preserved. The child was estimated to be between 6 and 12 years of age at the time of death. Among the finds was an incredibly well-preserved large woven basket with a lid. This basket was found in one of the Murabaat caves. The experts believe this basket is probably the oldest ever uncovered. Materials from four different parts of the basket were analyzed to find out the date of manufacturing. The researchers concluded that the basket was manufactured approximately 10,500 years ago during the pre-pottery Neolithic period. Dr. Chaim Cohen at the press conference in Jerusalem said the basket has a capacity of 92 liters. We do not know which type of plant was used to make it, but we are looking into it. However, what we can say is that two people wove it and that one of them was left-handed. When the basket was found, it was empty and the lid was closed. A small amount of soil was retrieved inside of it. Researchers hope that this soil will help identify what was contained in the vessel. According to Cohen, the ancient people who made the basket probably didn't live in the cave, but rather used the cave for storage. 
During their excavations, the archaeologists found evidence that antiquity looters had almost come in contact with the basket. They found evidence that they stopped their excavations only 10 centimeters away from the basket. Dr. Nama Sukenik from the Organic Material Department told the Jerusalem Post, Organic materials usually do not have the ability to survive for such a long period. However, the special climatic conditions of the Judean desert and its dry weather has allowed for dozens of artifacts to last for centuries and even millennia. Additional finds in the Cave of Horror include arrows, spearheads, woven fabric, sandals, a lice comb and a cache of rare coins bearing Jewish symbols like a harp and date palm. About half of the area still remains to be surveyed and we hope it can shed further light into the life in Israel over the course of many millennia. But with that said, you've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos and click the bell icon for notifications every time I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet then click the card in the upper right corner or click the link in the description down below. I'd also like to thank my patrons, Richard, Barry, Floyd, Scott, James and NGC6543. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one.